Welcome to the short presentation of automated trading strategies which are based on crowdsourced earnings estimate platform Estimize. Estimize is an online community in which contributors, which is more than 3,000 of them, can supply their structural financial forecasts. In this presentation, we will examine three models. Two of them will be based on white paper presented on Estimize website, generating abnormal returns using crowdsourced earnings forecast from Estimize. This white paper will be based on difference between estimates provided by Estimize and the Wall Street estimates. And the third model would be model developed by Deltix Quantitative Research Group, which will be based on time series evolution of estimates provided by an Estimize platform. For the research, we will use the QuantOffice QuantZero platform, which is very powerful and especially useful when we're working with multiple data sources. The first step, let's examine time-based data. So we have uh, four streams. We loaded a uh, security meta info. In this particular stream, we've got all members of the S&P 500 index. Estimate releases. In this stream, the data represents the actual release information. So we can see that for every release date, there are actual earnings per share and actual revenue together with estimates. The second stream from Estimize, called Estimize Estimates, contains actual forecasts by analysts. Every record in this stream contains multiple fields. Among fields which are important to us are, is first of all time, which represents the timestamp of an estimate supplied by a particular user, then uh, field EPS and revenue represent actual forecast by analyst. And uh, finally, the field release date describing the corresponding earning announcement. And finally, the fourth stream, which contains one mean bar data, just represents the bars from 2011, January until end of 2013. If I display this information for 1,000 companies, we see that uh, even my laptop, I've got around 2.5 million messages per second. Two strategies which are represented in Estimize website. One is called pre-EPS drift. In this case, we examine the difference between uh, mean Estimize earnings per share, uh, the night before report, and the actual Wall Street estimate. And if the delta is greater than zero, then we open long position, otherwise we open short position. And the second strategy is called post-drift. In this case, we compare three numbers, uh, estimate from Estimize, uh, actual EPS, and the EPS from Wall Street. So this particular strategy states that if stock beats the uh, Estimize estimate but misses the Wall Street, then we go long, otherwise we go short. Let's briefly examine the source code of the strategies. So we'll see that uh, it's very compact. On bar close, for every release, an Estimize uh, table we're calculating uh, first for pre-EPS uh, drift, uh, difference between Estimize and the Wall Street. And if delta is negative, we go short. If delta is positive, we go long. And uh, subsequently, the second strategy examines uh, two deltas between the actual release and estimate and the actual release and Wall Street forecast and similarly we are entering long and short under this very simple conditions. Let's run this back test for S&P 100. The first run would be for pre-earnings announcement drift and the result of this back testing will be represented in this diagram. This is the result of back test. If we go to performance report we we'll look at sharp ratio, average profit per share ratio. And the second strategy, which is post earning drift, would be executed now. And the result of this back test for two years also visible here, sharp ratio 0 0.61. And both these strategies are showing potential sources of alpha. Well, after we study these two models represented the Estimize website, we decided to pay special attention to time evolution of Estimize estimates. Let's just run a strategy that would be just to visualize raw Estimize data. So in the fourth path at the bottom, we're seeing the raw Estimize data 
magenta line for Apple and blue line represents actual earnings per share. If we zoom to Google, and if we look at Hewlett Packard, we see similar results. The idea which we decided to explore, we would like to create two indicators. One which we call mean long-term forecast, where for any period of time we're just taking sum of all forecasts divided by number of forecasts. The second indicator, it will be actually tail uh, mean. So for last k estimates, what's the mean value of last k estimates? And based upon this uh, distribution, we have three scenarios where before the earnings, the long-term forecast, which is black, is below the short-term forecast, and we call it um, optimistic scenario. The short-term short forecast is actually above the mean long-term. Uh, opposite is when uh, short-term forecast is below, which is pessimistic and neutral. And the hypothesis is the following, that if short-term forecast is above long-term, that probably will lead towards negative surprise. So this optimism will cause uh, most likely missing the short-term expectations and therefore stock price will fall. Therefore, in this combination, when uh, short-term earnings forecast is above long-term, we're going to go short. And you can see right now this particular signal was correct. And opposite will go long. So let's examine the source code of this model. For every estimized release, we're calculating the distance between the long-term and short-term forecasts. And if uh, distance is positive, we're going short. Otherwise, we're going long. Let's backtest the strategy for results of S&P 100. Results of the simulation are presented here. And uh, we look at a um, nice penal curve with each individual penal switch instrument. Performance statistic is sharp ratio to 0.36 and average profit per share for short trades 26 cents and for long trades 16 and overall uh, 19 cents per share. Finally, we run multiple scenarios of um, the strategy for S&P 100 members, for 100 uh, top uh, members of S&P 500, for 200 top uh, members of uh, index S&P 500, including uh, dollar neutral and beta neutral uh, scenarios. All these vectors illustrate that uh, underlying idea, which is based on uh, long and short thresholds of estimized data, has potential. So that concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.